and we are back. Chicago Bears franchise. In the last episode, we had the bye week. And as you, if you didn't watch, um, we now have Rasul Douglas. Um, we made an inner division trade with the Packers. Um, oh, I apparently made an edit on Anthony Crown. Uh, well, here's the trade details. Um, We trade Cameron Sutton for Rasul Douglas, and we traded a fourth and a seventh, and we got a sixth and a seventh in return. The reason I did this is we're getting an upgrade at cornerback. The Packers only did this trade because it's the Packers. They are tight on cap space. Sewell Douglas is worth 5 mil. Cameron Sutton was worth 2.5. So they're getting a pretty solid deal. Yeah, they're getting worse in terms of their secondary. But at the same time, it's not that worse. And they're saving 2.5 million from doing so. And they get a 4th round pick. And a 7th. We get a 6th and 7th. So pretty even trade, I'd say. And I... Oops. Oh, I pressed in. Is that why I did something else? I... I have no issue... Sorry, my grandma's talking to my cat out there. Um, I have no issue with doing this trade. Because if you look. The Vikings and Lions. In week 7 and in week 8. Have traded with each other. I have no issue doing that. They are colluding. So me and the Packers are going to collude as well. We have a tandem breakout on defense. I'm assuming this means a development story. Jalen Johnson plays at such a high level and always leads by example. Do you think I can have that kind of impact? You have that impact. I'm ready to run through a wall, coach. I haven't let the... Okay... How far are we in recording? Only three minutes. Wow. I felt like we were <laughs> pushing time. We're going against rookie quarterback Kyle Meeks, who didn't have the greatest season. So we're going to defend the inside run. For them, let's look. They struggle with felt everything, so... With David Montgomery, we're going to run inside. We got some training to do. We had a bunch of players get injured on a bye week. All of them were one week injury, so everyone is fine. So, Jalen Johnson was one of them, but he's back. And we're all healthy defense special teams. And we will be missing Kevin. Jenkins, I only have one right guard. There's no way I only have one right guard. Why? Well, I mean, I know why. But if I only have one left guard, we're, we're looking at an issue. I'm not starting a left tackle right guard. I'll start a left guard at right guard. Do we not have a... 
Who is the backup left guard? Do we have one? Are they a practice squad guy? They're a practice squad guy. Makes sense. Adjust the line. Depth chart. We only have one left guard as well. It's Cody Whitehair. Please tell me this is a one week thing. Let's see. We're in an issue. Two and five, we're fighting for a playoff spot. If we lose one more game, we're fine. But if we lose a game after that, we're looking at Scary Terry. Tory. So, playing for the injured Tevin Jenkins will be backup left tackle Braxton Jones. And. He's all we really have. Alex Leverwood is the better option. 72 compared to a 69. So we're going to give Alex Leverwood a start, actually. Why? Because, well, if somehow, some way, something happens to Jordan Mailata in this game, then we're looking at very bad territory. Then Braxton Jones is going to be in there. We're now going to have to start Alex Leatherwood. And if somehow something happens to Braxton Jones as well, well, we're screwed. Quickly. Every week, huh? Every freaking week. It never gets old. Oh, you can't just accept what my roster is. Right outside linebackers, Camus. Congrats, Camus. You should be the two. You should be the three. And Jamin Davis should be the one. Cornerback. Kyra is starting. Hick returner. Kenyon Drake is starting. You can be the two, Moody. Drake is starting. You can be the two, Moody. Kickoff start doesn't matter. Third down running back. Slot receiver. That's fine. Slot corner. Should be Kyle or Gordon. Then you can be it or Sewell. I don't think EA realizes. I don't want these guys. Cameron Sun played amazing, but... Who? You know what he had? Penalties. A lot of them. Rasul Douglas, conveniently. Also a slot cornerback. Solid return for Mr. Drake. I'm gonna whip my chair out so I can actually see the TV screen very well. Oh, and Nicholas Morrow got injured on the opening play. Gain a free by Montgomery. Packers and Lions also playing each other, so we have a double division game. That check down is going to be complete. That was to Darren Moody. Third and three fields. He's going to launch it. He has a man. And Calvin Ridley with the bomb of a touchdown Mooney or not Mooney Fields delivering an absolute sh air strike let's see how this played out Ridley is one on one against Cameron Dancer can't tell if it's man coverage or zone it looks like it's zone because you see this guy's shadow over honestly you had a uh, Darren Moody open as well. But Fields, you see the step? And an absolute dart. And do we have a 
injury update on him. Abdominal tear. He is probably out for the game. And probably some more weeks as well. But the extra point attempt by Cairo. It's good. And we lead 7 0. A minute 10 into the game. What you doing, Jay? And there are going to return it. And. Solid return. Ultimately, would have been where they were to begin with, but. See, Kyle Meeks playing over her cousins. And. Very solid season so far. 13 touchdowns to 6 interceptions, 1,700 yards. But that's not what we're here for. We are here to see how well our defense plays. See how Sean Murphy Bunting responds. This would be his best chance against a rookie quarterback. Who, uh, I don't know if he gets uh, dev up. But we obviously know how equal they are. They got Dalvin Cook, one of the best running backs in the league, who... That's our whole goal is to stop him. As we see there. We did. They got Justin Jefferson. Adam Phelan. Jalen Rager. A very good receiving core. We their tight ends. Irv Smith who is solid. Yeah. You can definitely do better. But I wouldn't complain if I had Irv Smith. And wide open is Rager. No, that's not. That's Thielen. He's up to the 26 yard line. So, huge test here. I don't know who's going to be guarding who, but I'm interested to see how it goes. And it looks like Murphy Bunting might be on Thielen. It makes sense. I believe Thielen is a slot. So far, Thielen's, you know, doing his thing, so. Jefferson has some running room. He's going to be short of the first down up to the 17 and now third and one I'd imagine you'd run it here and that's exactly what they do and it's going to work out if they pick up the first down First and ten now from the 14 yard line Meeks is looking to throw. Rager is wide open, but a bad throw gets intercepted by Jaquan Brisker. And lucky for Rager to make that tackle because Jaquan Brisker probably had a touchdown if he did not get tackled there. So what looked like a promising first drive for the Vikings turns into disaster when Jaquan Brisker jumps the route and gets the interception. Montgomery's going to fight for it for free. Second and seven now from the 22. We're going to go back to Montgomery, and he's going to get a first down up to the 30-yard line. I reckon after this drive, we'll check on the... Uh, if we have an update on uh, Nicholas Morrow. Great play there by Daniel Hunter. Lost a two on the play. And now a second and 12 from the 29. It's a play action. That was a very convincing one too, in my opinion. Montgomery, it's going to go nowhere. He falls down instead of going for run out catch. And Atlanta currently leading against the top team, Colts. Fields is going to be sacked. Dalvin Thomas is going to be credited with half a sack. Looks like he was about to throw the ball and then, you know, got hit and he decided ultimately it's best to just tuck the ball away and a solid punt fielded around the 35 he's going to be up at the 37 so it's a turn of two yards by Rager and the Vikings are going to be heading right back out there after the Jaquan Brisker interception the defense does a good job and great job by our defense as well uh, as Dalvin Cook is going to tackle him or get tackled behind the line again. And 
end of the first quarter. So this is the perfect time to check. And there's a first quarter stat for those of you who are curious. How is Nicholas Morrow doing? He has been ruled nothing yet. And the Vikings, they're not missing anyone. We have a weak... We have something upset over it. Jacksonville takes a 7-0 lead against the Bills. I don't really know how this is an upset. The Bills are 5-2. The Jaguars are 5-3. and three. Nearly intercepted. Off the hands. And now a 3rd and 11. Meeks. He's going to throw deep. Incomplete. It was intended for Rager. And bringing up 4 down. The punting unit is out there. So it looked like a promising first try for both teams as quickly turned into great jobs by the defense. And Drake with a solid return up to the 32-yard line. You see Fields talking with Tyler Huntley. Looking at the game plan. Fields, as you guys may or may not know, was in a QB controversy coming into the bye week. Well, kind of. Hold on to the ball. Uh... Week 7 was the final game before the bye week, and we were potentially going to bench Fields after that game, depending on how he played. And we got an offside penalty, it looks like. And it worked. Fields played amazing in that game. And ultimately, you know, we've gifted him the starting job for the next two weeks, potentially free. Assuming... And it doesn't look like he's going to, uh, you know, throw for two completions on 15 attempts for 10 yards and four interceptions. I mean, he's going to remain our starter. Hopefully, from here on out, because um, I'm very high on him. And I'd like to not have to uh, rely on Tyra Huntley or a rookie quarterback. Speaking of, I'd also like to, uh, well, I'm not going to, because I want to see Tyler Huntley. I have confidence in him as well. So, I'm not going to say that, but I was going to say I'd like to not spend my first round pick on a quarterback when our team is in such a good position. Now, we have a very young team. Fields is going to elect not to slide and go for the first down. He's going to get it. Brian Asamoah, I believe his name is, on the tackle. And uh, Andy Booth jumps the route on Darnell Mooney for the interception. So, Yvonne Briscoe jumps the route. And now Anthony, or Andrew Booth does. And conveniently, like, relatively the same spot of the field. In terms of yardage. Now, both had good drives going. And Cook finds a huge hole, makes a man miss. He fumbles, though, and it is recovered by the Bears. And the Packers take a 7 0 lead against the Lions. Is it a fumble? That looks to me like a clear fumble. But just to be sure. What a hole, by the way. And who, who is the one who makes it happen? It looks like number 99. Oh, that is a close call. As you can see there, the ball is clearly out and the knee is down. Ultimately, I think this is a fumble. It is. The knee might just be down, but ultimately, I still don't think that's enough. And I think that's going to give us the ball back in great field position. 
Tigers take a 7 0 lead. Fields, pressure, and he's going to go down. Harrison Phillips gets half a sack. Zaria Smith probably got the other half. Second and 15. Third and nine. Ultimately, nine yards on a third down, not the easiest. So let's just try and get the field goal. More to Neil Hunter. It just gets there. Who, 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 who was supposed to block the Neil? And the punt is away, and it's not a great one. It's the 14, which is... Ugh. So, there, there, there went that. Great field position, free and out. Fields out sacked twice on that drive. Great coverage, but it is going to be complete. And we are at the two-minute warning, and the Packers now take a 14-0 lead against the Vikings. Personally, I'm rooting for the Packers in this game because of the double collusion, you know, the Vikings and the Lions have. I can understand once, but you traded together in the draft where the Lions got Jamison Williams. What a... Incomplete, never mind. Oh, I thought that was an amazing catch, and I got it super excited. I thought we got a fumble there. Um, so yeah, Tyro Gordon went on the cornerback blitz, and ultimately it didn't matter because it was a screen and got a decent amount of yards. Third and two. Meeks has time wide open is Adam Thielen. And that's going to continue to have that clock run. Incomplete intended for Cook. That was a horrible throw. And with exactly one minute remaining. The priority alert, the Lions now close the gap. Now 14 to 7. Checking it down to Cook. And it's another fumble. And the Vikings recover. And there is a penalty though. And I want to exit. Did he fumble again? Is that an actual fumble? If so, Cook has now fumbled twice now. And... It's a fumble! Unfortunately, you know, none of us were able to recover. Who did recover, though? Looks like it's that guy who just slid in. Brian O'Neill. Gets the fumble recovery. We're second and 17 now. Meeks. Down he goes! And timeout Vikings, their first of the half. Number 40, that's Bobby Okereke. And they're just going to hand it off. And Cook is going to go nowhere. And we take our first time out of the half with 44 seconds left. Fourth and 23. I doubt they're going to go for it. Fair caught at the 25 yard line. So 75 yards for a touchdown. We do have two timeouts still. But my big concern... Vikings also has two timeouts. What? Not go for, you know, a home run ball. Crazy. The Vikings. One play interception. They're already at the 33 yard line and in field goal range. You can't make this up. Literally, as I'm saying, take it nice and slow. I'm fine with not getting points at the half. And we get it right back to Matthew Adams. Oh, that's Bobby Okereke. And, well, we lose a few seconds, but we have, you know, an additional six yards. 
Fields. So help me God. Fucking hell, Fields! First and goal from the five. They have two timeouts. So they also can utilize the run game. Travis Gibson, take it to half. Take it to half. Run the ball, take it to half. And the Packers lead 21 7. Is that a face mask penalty? If so, we have a chance to potentially take a Hail Mary. With 10 seconds, we can. We're going to have it at the 33, so let's try and go deep or run the ball. That makes sense, actually. Run the ball, timeout, Hail Mary. You gotta take the timeout. Take the timeout. Why are we not taking a Hail Mary chance? But that's gonna do it for the first half. There are the stats. I believe Felix has thrown three interceptions. I believe Kyle Meese has also thrown three interceptions. So we took a re take a look around the league. Starting out, Green Bay, Wisconsin, the Packers lead 21-7. Jared Goff, a touchdown and interception. Uh, Jameson Williams with a touchdown. Aaron Rodgers, two passing touchdowns. Next, we had to Indianapolis, Indiana, where the Colts lead 17-7. Teddy Bridgewater with a touchdown. Saquon Barkley with a touchdown. Didn't know he was on the uh, Falcons. And Kiki Kuti with a touchdown. And finally, we had to Cleveland, Ohio. Where the 49ers are winning 14-7. Trey Lance with a touchdown to Debo Samuel. Sean Watson with a touchdown interception. That touchdown going to Amari Cooper. And now we have next-gen stats. Here are the Bears when it comes down to running the ball inside. And here are the Vikings when it comes down to throwing the ball short. I believe we receive second half kickoff. Oh no. They do. That's what I meant to say, but. Sometimes, you know, words are just not the easiest thing in the world. And. Solid. They're up to the 22. Kyle Meek so far. 9 for 16, 97 yards, and 3 interceptions. No touchdowns. So, we. Do we have a touchdown? I have no idea if we have a touchdown. I know we do. But I don't know if it was Montgomery or a passing touchdown. I'm trying to think. It was to Calvin Ritter. It was a deep one. So, yeah, we do have a touchdown. Second and nine from the 22. Check down to Cook. Breaks the tackle off of Matthew Adams, and he's up to the 41 yard line. And this is the thing against the Vikings. We don't necessarily str well, we do struggle. Oh, nearly jumped the route there. But last time we played them, earlier this season, week two, I believe, we lost 24-21 after leading the whole game and then Fields choked. So far, Fields is choked. Kyle Meeks has time, has blockers, and is ultimately just going to settle for a two-yard check down. Second and eight now. That one's a different type of play, but it's the first down. Got a check down that time. You know, Meeks got it away in time because Travis Gibson was coming after the quarterback. And the fields, or well not fields, excuse me, Kyle Meeks starting to get a bit comfortable with Jefferson. Jefferson went the first half without any receptions and now he's gotten three in a row. Cook nearly makes Kyle Gordon miss, but Gordon gets there in the end. 
Third and five. Come on, defense. Stand strong. Five to guess is probably going to either Jefferson or Phelan. And there's Phelan. Phelan, I believe, is kind of a security blanket. Jefferson, he's been locked down this whole game. But Phelan, he seems to be just getting open. And speaking of Jefferson, he goes up and mosses for the touchdown. We see him doing the gritty. And the extra point, I hope, is good. It is. Not I hope, but I hope it would be good for the, the kicker's sake, you know. And we're tied to seven after the two touchdowns we've had. Pretty impactful. We obviously have the um, Calvin Ridley bomb. And we have the Jefferson, you know, one-on-one. -on -one, he goes up and monsters the defender. Double play action. Checks it down to Montgomery. Actually, a pretty solid play. Gets six. Field so far, seven for ten. 110, a touchdown, and free interception. So his free incompletions have been, you know, caught by the other team. I thought he threw another interception there. Who was that to? Was that Mooney? All Eric Hendricks had to do was put his hands up, and he has a touchdown. Kyle Meeks looks like he might be injured. Here the other day, I tried to show him. Still have no update on Nicholas Morrow. I assume he's out for the game, though. Abdominal tear. Most likely means so. Fields, you need to stop. I understand you are fast, but you are just scrambling for what seems to be no reason. I don't think that pocket was collapsing really at all. Montgomery, fight your way forward. Third and 12. And um, I don't think we're going to get the first down, but at least Montgomery put on a show. Fields. Surveying. Montgomery dropped it. He had the first down, but he dropped it. The line's bringing within 10. Now 24-14. Wow, both guys went unblocked. Kendall Vildor and Kyle Gordon. Kyle? Kyle. Kyler. Kyle Meeks last drive, 7 for 7 in a touchdown. And I believe 78 yards. And Cook had no one guarding him. Gets eight. Oh, we're going to go right back to him on our run play this time. See a man in motion, definitely. Oh, it's Jefferson or Rager. George, the first down is Rager. Third and one. This is a huge one. I imagine it goes to Cook. No, it's a pass. And guess who's wide open? We're not even going to call him Adam Field. We're just going to call him the freaking security blanket. 7 for 86. There's the first quarter stats for those of you who are curious. Because, man, Adam Field is just doing stuff. And we're, co we're in press coverage, and I assume if they pass, they don't. They should have, because they lost a two by Cook. Cook averaging under two a carry at the moment. Ooh. All we need to do is essentially learn how to cover Cook in the checkdowns and learn how to cover Adam Thielen, and we have this Vikings team on lock. Because we look, down with Cook. Nine carries, 12 yards. And besides Justin Jefferson's one drive of fame this game so far where he went off, We've locked him down, and it's been Adam Thielen who's been, you know, wrecking us. And Kyler Gordon gets to him. He was about to go deep, it looked like. And we have a chance to hopefully do something with just drive. We've been struggling. Come on. Block. Good block. 16 gets there, but it's fine. We're up to the 30. We ultimately probably would have gotten maybe an extra one, two yards. Number 16 wasn't there, so 
Not the end of the world. I'd say prioritize Montgomery. And that's why you almost threw an interception. Run the damn ball. You, you got a top 10 running back, in my opinion, on your team, and you're trying to throw with an unproven quarterback who we've run the same play twice in a row now, it looks like, and it hasn't worked out either time. So let's run it a third time and see if it works out. Why don't we? Yes, good job, Fields. We needed three yards. We totally didn't need ten. We only needed three. Check it down, why don't you? God damn, bro. Your playmaking decisions are god-awful. The only thing I feel bad for is the defense. This offense is horrible. The coordinator's getting fired. I know we fired our guy last year. This guy, no exception. Why are we trying to throw the ball field? Run the football. Do what's been working every week. He's gotten like 100 yards every time we've, you know, ran the ball. Not, you know, just run it, ran it. Like we, that was our whole game plan. The whole point was to run the ball inside this game. Why are we throwing? And why is it only check downs we are throwing? Cook finally breaks one big, and it's one that matters the most. We're going to lose by field goal. Or we're going to lose by 10. Field goal or by 10. Because we're going to throw a pick six if, you know, Fields will throw a pick six. Don't you dare be on us. Ooh, we got bailed. That was all sides. They zoomed in on Brian O'Neill, so that five-yard play by Cook goes away, and well, he got six, so we got even more than he did last time. And third and four, this probably is game-altering if they get this first down, because I imagine they're getting at least a field goal out of it. Oh, and guess who it fucking is? Was it? No, it wasn't. It was Irv Smith. I thought it was a fucking white security blanket again. I fucking hate Adam Thielen, bro. I'm fine with him in real life. That's weird to say as a Packers fan. But in this game, man, he has torched our team. He is the only player. Him and Dalvin Cook when Dalvin Cook is a receiver. Please be false start again. Our team is jumping a lot. Zoomed in on Brian O'Neill again. Come on. Er Smith is wide open. So, oh, Justin Jeff. There's a timeout. And we have the ball. He fumbled. Oh, Montgomery got a lid up. You know what Montgomery did there? He got a yard. But you know what he did? He fought for that one yard. And he took a big hit because of it. That's the type of guy I want on my team. Even if the play is looking bad, he gives it his all. I don't know what that was, but it kind of worked. Why are we no huddling? We're giving, the Vikings are easily going to score. Unless we got the first down, which we did, Mooney. Darnell Mooney. And Darren Moody, the other one. Similar last names. And first names. Darren Darnell. These to get confused. Felix has all the time in the world. Just. You fucking dumbass. Can we get a pair of scissors and cut this guy from the team? For Christ's sakes. You had all that time and you scramble for no reason? Get a sack? But that works. Come on. Just get as many yards as we can. Don't throw the ball. Run the ball. It's Montgomery's game. Okay, maybe not. Run the ball one more time. 
And San Francisco holds on to beat Cleveland 21-17. No way, we just lost. Okay, we took a timeout. Thank God. I thought we were about to call a play and we were going to run out of time. 55 yards. Essentially for the win. They're probably going to have a second left, maybe. And they're going to ice the kicker. Cairo Santos. Who has struggled from deep this whole season. Does he have a 55-yarder while being iced in him? The kick is up. It is up. <laughs> Dude, it's 55 fucking yards. I've seen you hit 54 yarders. How the fuck are you not even miss it? How are you that short? Is there a breeze? Don't. Don't, 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 Each team gets one possession minimum, assuming we don't score a touchdown or they score a safety. Uh, if we score a field goal, they have a chance. They get the ball back. And yeah. The Falcons did pull off the upset. So they get, a, they get the ball. If we don't score at all, they get the ball. If we score a touchdown, we win. If they score safety... They win. So, yeah. So, so this time doesn't matter. Because both teams get one possession minimum. I believe. You know, unless we end the game in the scenarios I just named. Someone who is down. Please tell me 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 who is down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. Review it, please. Please be down. Please. I don't want to lose by that. He's down. There's no question. You can see the ball. Knee down. Ball comes out. He's down. But it doesn't matter what I think. It matters what that man writes. Not him, but that, that referee thinks. And the referee agrees with me. We, ho, ho, ho. we got lucky there. Now we're in shotgun. So, yeah. Because Montgomery supposedly fumbled. We're going to... Uh, Moody! Woo! He comes up with the big catch. This is the most excited I've been for a Madden game in a while. I don't know why. It's because... Well, I do. It's because this game means a lot because we almost beat them week two. Oh, that? John Fushiano gets injured. That's our second alignment out now. So, yeah. Because they did these trades with the freaking Lions. Take the field goal. Run the ball. If we don't get it, take the field goal. I don't care if it's fourth in an inch. Take the field goal. Take the field goal. Take the field goal. What the heck, coach? Why is the offensive coordinator doing this to me? Crazy! He got stopped. Who would have fucking fought? Jesus, fuck, I'm done with this shit, bro. Why? 
There is no reason to go for it there. It's fucking overtime. They have one drive to make it or break him, and I love our chances of how our defense has been playing. Not just like love. But just ignore me. I might as well just leave this team and find somewhere else. Hell, I don't even care if it's, you know, as like a coordinator or anything at this point. Because obviously this team doesn't care about me enough to do what I'm asking. It was so simple. Kick the field goal. It was a chip shot gimme. Yeah, we could go for the win there. But I trust our defense enough. And look at how they just played the free and out. Granted, yes, we can just get a field goal now and win. Because it is next four wins, no matter what the score is. But we could have won it right there and then. Four to the first. And we know how Santos is. We know exactly how Cairo Santos is. Let's get the first down. Run it. Yes. Yes, he got us three yards. And the Vikings now take a timeout. Run the ball two more times. One here, because then you'll still have time. And then one more time. I'd rather have a tie than a loss. Okay, we get to run it another time. Perfect. Why are we? This better be a run. It is. Montgomery got the first. So now we can just shoot a clock. Take this goddamn field goal. Run it one more time. One more. And then we chew the clock, take a timeout. Stay in bounds. Perfect. This is it. Take the timeout now for all I care. I don't care. Just kick the field goal now. Santos is out there. Here are the announcers. 35 yards. Four to win. The Vikings don't have any timeouts to ice us with. Come on, Santos. 35 yards. If you miss this, you're probably off the team. He's up. And we have done it. We have done it. <sighs> and we tried to lose that game. But we end up winning. Oh, I get so angry because of this stuff, man. It's just not fun since Bobby Okariki or Okereke okay, is the only one. Since you pass coverage up to an 84. This makes me so mad, though. Because I expect my team to win. Do we get it since he, the guy threw three interceptions or did Murphy Bunny had it yet? Two of them. Oh, boo, poo, we won. Sh shut up. We won. You guys allowed a single touchdown. We have a new injury, and please, it's Nicholas Morrow. He's out five weeks. And uh, we're going to put him on IR. And we're probably going to go out and sign a... How are we still at 53 people if he's on IR? Doesn't that take him off of the roster? Okay, well, that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I did. I will see you guys next time and quickly. Oops. Middle linebacker, who do we have available? Hmm. I think we're probably going to sign Danny Trevathan. Hold on, Ashley. Does it say if he, like, what his thing is? He's a field general. Okay.
So, we're going. I just. Who? I mean, my mic and I. What out a big sneeze. So, we are going to close app um, once this is done. I guess his season's over. Oh well. Um, we're gonna close app. Uh, once I'm done, you know, here. We're then gonna uh sign for Vafen if it says fifty two. So yeah, I'm just gonna tell you that right now, cause uh, actually I'm gonna advance a week and see if that changes anything. Okay, we're at 52 now. So, yeah. Oh, and we had a guy sign. Trenton Gill. And we're going against the lines. Perfect. So, we might even play him. So, now that means also, uh, we have a practice squad spot open. Please tell me he's still here. Okay. Is there any? No. Danny Trevathan. Welcome to the team. You are going to be taking place for the injured. Um, what, what's, what's, whatever his name is, Nicholas Morrow, punters, uh, practice squad eligible on practice squad. Oh, wait. Okay. So all the punters are now officially taken. Do I have a kicker on the practice squad? Cause, um, the way Santos has been playing, I wouldn't be shocked. Oh, while we're here, let's give Dennis Keys an upgrade. We'll just do that. We're at 52 minutes now, so we're cutting it kind of close, but it should be fine since we're, you know, only trying to sign it. If there's no kicker available, well, I'll just kind of sign who I want. All right, Jake Verdi. Welcome to the practice squad. And that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I did. In the next episode, we will play the Detroit Lions. Because, well, we play all division games. Yeah. The last thing I want to do, since we're here... Who is our starting punter? He's not even on the team. Where did Trey and Gil go? Did he not sign with the Lions? Oh well. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.